welcome back everyone. Now we're going to draw some drawings relating to our color wheel. You can use any type of paper that you'd like to make your drawings. I use a sketchbook just like this one, but you can use any paper that you have at home. All you need for this is a pencil, an eraser, a marker, and anything to color with. You can use crayons, I like using color pencils as well as markers. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera a little closer that way we have a close up on our drawings. Let's start by making an apple. We make a circle. Then on the top, what we'll do is we'll make like an M shape. On the bottom, we'll make a W like this. Now make your circle a little bit smaller to create the shape of an apple. Next, we'll start by doing the top of the apple where the stem is. So if you take your pencil and make a line, another line, there we go. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of detail on the apple. All right, now I like outlining with a marker. You don't have to use a marker if you don't have one. Perfect. Next, we are going to color the apple with the primary color, red. Again, I like to outline my drawing with the marker. Remember, art doesn't have to be perfect. Next, I will use a color pencil to color in my apple. You can use any type of materials that you have. You can use a crayon, markers, color pencils, whatever you may have at home. Now I am using a different shade of red to make the apple a little bit brighter. You can use any shade of red that you have. Now we're going to use green, the contrasting color for red, to color in the stem of the apple, like so. I am also going to use a color pencil to color in the stem, as well as create a small leaf using a line and an oval shape. outline it a little bit more, line in the middle, and I color in the leaf. That gives it a little bit of contrast to the red. And there you have it, your first drawing. Our second drawing, we're going to make a blue jay. First, start with its head just a circle like this. Next its body, an oval shape. And we'll make its tail another smaller oval shape. A line for his beak. Triangle, triangle. 
two lines for his legs and his feet. That's so. Now we connect the two circles together, make a little spiky hair on top, and start forming his body. A little curve here to connect the tail of the blue jay. Semicircle here, round eye, and a squiggly line next to the eye. Now I'm going to create some feathers, just some lines to give it some depth. A few lines on his tail, like this. Next, I'm going to outline my blue jay with a black marker. As I'm outlining my blue jay, I'm reminded of how many blue jays I have seen. Have you ever seen a blue jay? All right, let's see. Let me. Go around there. A semicircle and. I there we go. Now outline the feathers. Like so. And there we have our blue jay. I like to erase all my pencil markings. Now I'm going to outline a few areas with a blue marker. Starting with his feathers. And his tail. as well as his head and his spiky hair. Now I have the outline of the blue. Next, I will take a lighter blue and color in all the blue area of the Blue Jay. Now I will take a darker shade of blue and give it some texture over the lighter blue. Next I will use an orange color pencil to shade in the Blue Jay's beak. Remember that orange is the contrasting color to blue. Uh, let's let him sit on an orange branch as well. Make two lines parallel to each other. And we'll make a few more branches, lightly color in the branches, now with these two contrasting colors, the picture pops and stands out. Great work creating your very own blue jay with contrasting colors blue and orange. 
Now let's draw a yellow banana. Let's start with a line like this, another line on the top, and we're going to make a line all the way to the bottom for the bottom of the banana, like so, and stem. Now let's give it some texture with another line. Let's give it a 3D effect. Hmm, let's see here. Let's put a face on this banana. A smiley face. And he looks pretty happy. How about we give him some friends as well? Draw a line down, curve for the bottom, another line, curve, and one more, one line down and curve. Now he has some friends. Again, I will outline with a black marker. Start with the top of the stem and work my way down and another curve down and let's outline his face he looks extra happy now that he has all his friends Perfect. Great job outlining. Now let's color with some yellow. You can use markers, crayons, color pencils, whatever you may have. I like to use some brown on top of the yellow to make the bananas look realistic. It gives it an extra texture. Now that the bananas are all completed, after we shade them in, let's think about our contrasting color. Purple. Let's create a small blanket just like a picnic color in the little squares to make it look like a picnic with the contrasting colors yellow and purple Great work, boys and girls. For the color purple, let's do a flower. Start with a circle. Next, we will make more like a teardrop above and on the side and below the circle, like so, creating the petals of the flower. Now these petals can be all different sizes. They don't have to be the exact same size. And one more here. Perfect. Let's do a stem for our flower and one leaf and there's another leaf. Great work. Again, I will outline my flower with a black marker. During the summer, we have a lot of beautiful flowers all around us. Let's shade in with the purple outline.
like so. And now I'm shading it with a color pencil and leaving some room on top to give the flower some texture. Now with a yellow marker, let's color in the middle of the flower because yellow is the contrasting color for purple. As well as we will color in the leaves yellow. Great work boys and girls, creating your flower drawing. For the color orange, let's create an orange. Start with a circle, like so. You have a little line here for a stem and create a leaf. I like to shade in the orange, just like oranges have a little bit of texture, like so. You can be as creative as you want. How about we do something else? How about we slice up this orange? Let's start with creating orange slices with this line like this, a line on top. Another line next to it, and a curve. Another curve. And let's give it a 3D effect with another curve underneath. And same with the other one, like so. Now let's create the inside of the orange with some lines. Connecting the lines from the semicircle all the way down. And there we are, orange slices. Again, I will outline with a black marker. Now for the orange, I will make little circles all around. And color in the orange peels for our slices. Next, I will shade in with a colored pencil. And we'll use blue marker to create a tablecloth for our oranges. And because blue is the contrasting color to orange. Let's create another small one here, squiggles, line, and let's do another line right here. Give it a little green for the leaf of the orange. Another drawing complete. Now, for our final drawing, we are going to make a green frog. Start with his head. And his body, another circle, oval shape for his body. Next, for his legs, we'll do two circles like this. Two smaller circles for his hands. Two lines. 
another circle, circle, and two circles for his eyes. Give him some eyes here, little nose, two lines for his nose, curve for his smile, and let's start putting him together. Again, I will outline my frog draw drawing with a marker. First, I'll start with his eyes. Let him take shape here. And his head all the way around. Give him that perfect smile. And let's create his body with his legs. And circles, and there we are, creating some feet for him with little lines like this. There we are. Nice smile. Next, I will erase all the lines that I made with my pencil. Start coloring him in with a green marker. You can use any shade of green that you would like. Two shades of color pencils, one light and one dark. A little bit of red for his mouth. And red is the contrasting color to green. So let's create something else. How about uh, another flower? Let's create a flower. Start with a circle and a teardrop. Just like we did with the purple flower. Again, it does not have to be perfect. Color in our flower, a little bit of red to give the picture some contrast. And a green stem with one small leaf. Great work. Great job, boys and girls, creating your drawings from the colors from the color wheel. You did a great job drawing all these characters today. Now it's your turn to take these drawings and put them on your fridge or hang them up in your room because art is everywhere and it's great to share your art with others. Remember, boys and girls, you can draw. I hope you can join us next time on this series, You Can Draw at your Tarpon Springs Public Library. Have a great day, everyone.